You don't know Bad man Yeah, yeah, yeah These body baby What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel She Girl Wakes to Wasteland Before we get started, make sure you are subscribed to the channel And receiving all post notifications for every single upload so big thank you to Neat and Sleek for sending out this beautiful unit. This is their Renee Full Lace Braided Wig. I do have this in the color 1B. You do have typical cap construction, two combs in the front, one in the back, and you do get this elastic band that is sewn into the cap. So full specs on this unit, this is a full lace wig. I do have it in the waist length, which is about 24 to 26 inches. 1B hair color, a medium cap size with sparse baby hair. So the frontal on this unit does come bleached and the hairline as I mentioned it does come with baby hairs so you do not need to apply any bleach to this unit as you guys can see this is a full lace wig so parting space is like seriously bananas on this unit you can do so many styles with this wig So lately I have been holding off on braiding my hair. So what I use is a knee high and then I pull the, the knee high part down and then I apply a black lace cap over it. This helps me to lay my hair as flat as possible. So big tip to anyone who is looking to start wigs or even if you have short hair and you don't want to necessarily braid it down. So as you guys are familiar, or if you're not familiar, I do use eyebrow shapers to cut the lace on my units. If you are going to start using eyebrow shapers, then you definitely want to take your time. You do want to cut as close as you can to the hairline without actually cutting off the hair. So for this part, it really didn't take too long for me to cut some of that hair off or some of that lace off, but it was a little difficult with these baby hairs, girl. <laughs> so I did comb them out and as you guys can see, I do have nails now. So that was a little bit of a challenge. And I do did forget to mention, I did tint the lace on this unit. And as you can see, it is still super light compared to my own complexion. But of course, I will be going in and fixing that later. So for the baby hairs, I definitely wanted to keep it as light as possible. I know with the first review that I did, I tried my best to keep them as wispy. And, you know, I really wasn't happy with the way it turned out. So I wanted to take a little bit more extra time with the baby hairs on this part. And I did start to pluck the hairs on camera. And as you can see, this is a lot of baby hairs. So I actually had to step off and pluck the rest. now we can see them baby hairs they are coming along pretty well <laughs> so i went in with the eyebrow shaper just to trim them and get them to my liking as i mentioned i did want to keep this as nice and as simple as possible i think we all know when it comes to these braided wigs sometimes the baby hairs they can make or break 
the whole look, sis. Um, so I'm going in with the black bottle of Got To Be Gel, and I'm just going to apply that to the baby hairs. Now, one thing I did try, I tried to keep the, the baby hairs long enough to where I could wrap it around some of the braids. And that actually turned out really, really good. I left it this way just in case I wanted to, you know, play it up with the baby hairs and do a different type of look with them. So I did decide to keep them long and just wrap it around the braid. And I think it actually worked out pretty well. So now I'm going to go in with the Juvia's Place Warrior 2 palette. And I did apply that along the hairline just to get it to match and blend a little bit better. Now for me personally, I would strongly recommend that you apply this wig before your makeup. As you guys can see, there is a little bit of a shade transition between my forehead and the lace on this unit. But no worries, I am gonna go in and fix that. Um, so I'm just using the color Yodit out of the, that Juvia's Place palette. And I'm just applying it to the lace parts just to get them to pop a little bit more. As you guys saw, I did use a, a dark wig cap, which makes a huge difference. And here is the um, Fenty contour stick. I use this um, for my makeup, but I also use it anytime I need to go in and correct the hairline on a unit. So I did place this along the forehead and I tried to blend it as much as I could, but like I mentioned, if you're gonna do this, I would definitely strongly suggest applying your makeup after you apply the wig, if that makes sense. But I think it came out really cute. So if you're interested in my final thoughts, here we go. Final thoughts on this beautiful unit by Neat and Sleek. So of course, big shout out to them. Big thank you for sending out the unit. Definitely appreciate it. It lays super, super flat. I really did not have any issues with the lace. I did go in and tint it. This does come in a very neutral color in my opinion. So you can go up or down if you decide to as far as shade. The braids are nice and uniform. They appear to be the same size. They're not fuzzy, they're not frizzy, they're really not too itchy on me. Now this is a braided unit, so you are going to have a little bit of coarseness on the back of your neck. That's something you do want to account for. Keep in mind, this, in my opinion, this is not a beginner friendly unit. This is for someone who is a little bit more advanced. Someone who knows how to come in and finesse and make it do what it do. You will have to put your work in, finesse it, and get it to your life. Liking, but girl mm, she's pretty <laughs> I'm really happy really happy with the outcome on this unit now I always have an issue with the ear tabs but they laid right into place not too long not too short now being personal experience i always have a problem getting them to glue down um this time i didn't have too much of a problem it was a little struggle street on this side okay uh, but your boo worked her magic over here <laughs> um so really pleased with the outcome girl she is definitely popping uh, Mm. <laughs> so if you guys are interested in checking out the information for Neat and Sleek, I'll have a direct link to their website down below, as well as a direct link to this lovely Tasha unit as well. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. Make sure you are getting all post notifications. I thank all of you for tuning in. Don't forget to drop your girl a comment down below. And as always, ladies, keep wearing it with confidence. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one.